So now we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite techniques, but also super dangerous for you and your partner. Very dangerous for your partner. So when you practice this, I would practice this slow motion. Um, it's the aggressive journey lock. Okay, it's the one we're gonna force and we're it's probably gonna have the person yell. Okay, which is like not a good thing, but also not a bad thing either. Okay, so we're gonna go off the basis that we are walking into the guard, okay, or we are having them put us in the guard. So it wouldn't matter if I did the opening like this and I stepped in and I went into a, a submission here, or she decided to suck me in, put my leg in, pull me here, and then I'm still doing it here, right? It doesn't matter, either way is fine. You still get into the same position you wanna get into, okay? When I go here, now what's gonna happen is instead of gripping the leg and walking away and turning the hip and using this rotation to turn the hip and isolate here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it here I'm going to pull all my weight. So I'm going to push it, and this time I'm making my weight go into her knee, and I'm going to fall in this direction. The way it's going to go, and I have to do it slow so that I don't injure my, my teammate, is I'm going to catch the heel. I'm going to put my hand on the mat. All my weight towards the knee. And if you can see, it's fully trapped with my hip on top of it while I'm falling. Okay? When I catch it here, I will just fall and I get a tap nice and easy. Obviously, I'm gonna have two hands on it, which means when I do it fast, if I'm in competition, you know, I would still be mindful about letting go, uh, just so that you don't completely break their leg, but this is one of the ones where if you hit it, you have to hit it kind of like you hit it in a steam lock, right? You hit it in a steam lock, you can't really slow down on a steam lock, you just gotta go. So this is kind of one of those moves. So I'm here, whether I open or she puts me in, I'm inside, one, I catch, I pass one here, right, right to the heel. Now, my weight is down on her. I'm going to, before we did this, now we're gonna push the weight in, and then we're gonna drop in this direction, right here, towards the mat, and get a finish. All the way towards the ground, no problem. There is a chance they might eat it and roll, but very unlikely, very unlikely. If they did eat it and roll, we'd already be back in a position to take the back again. So I'm gonna show it slow again, and then we'll show it a little bit more cleaner. So inside, walking in, or she puts me in, I pass from toe bones to toe bone grip. I go hamstring to hamstring. I put all the pressure in. I make sure that I catch here. A lot of the time, sometimes the foot will be here. And if I don't wanna stack, and I'm on this angle, I will have to go here and raise. Raise, okay? When I catch here, we're gonna fall. I'm gonna fall a little bit. And I have to let go at the end because she's gonna break her leg on the way down, okay? This time I go slow and then you just tap when I say. Boom, side, pressure in. Remember, you're, you're leaning now and you're putting the pressure in and we're gonna have our heel. So by the time we hit the floor, all the weight's on the knee. We're going through, catching. I'm hipping, hipping, hipping. And I let go right at the end. And obviously you see I had to let go abruptly so that she didn't get injured, okay? But the way to practice this nice and easy, okay, is kind of have to modify it a little bit. It's gonna go one, inside, through, pinching down locking, turning the hip into it, putting my hand towards the ground. Now, even though we're doing this slow and we're, we're kind of making it safe for her, I want to make sure that the knee hits the mat with my weight on it. So I want to fall on this line and you can try to kind of gauge yourself to where you have to be. Boom, and then you fall right into it and you lock it. Slow way to practice, right? But just remember when it's live, it's not gonna practice like that. I need the full weight to fall on the knee. So I'm inside, here, boom, through, locking, catching, weight, pulls down, turning, and inside, and getting ready to go. One thing to note, never once did I do this move and turn my knee to the inside. I kept my knee in this small little space of her groin. For any reason, if the knee tips in or she locks like this and the knee slides in, I can stop and tip it back out, okay? You always wanna do it where you're going here. Obviously, when we're falling in this area, you see how my knee's turned in, okay? 
It doesn't matter if she has a heel hook. Go ahead, go grab a heel. This is not gonna matter to me at all. If she locks in a heel hook, it's even better for me, okay? What's gonna matter is that maybe I go here and you stop and you let the knee come in and then you try to do it. That's different, okay? We're always doing this and respecting the structure of the Juni lock. That is key for every single move. If we respect the structure, we'll be able to do very dangerous techniques because we're still following the structure. We're still safe. Remember, this goes back to safety. Knee in, nope, defend. Knee out, ready to go, okay? So inside, one, two, catching here, falling, and getting that finish, okay? Aggressive junior lock, falling from the top.